Right, okay guys, uh, so this is Piccadilly Gardens. This is the centre, essentially, uh, for want of a better way of describing it. I mean, some people might say that it's quite, not quite the centre, but whatever. Uh, but I think the majority of local people would say that this is the centre of town, essentially. Um, it's the most focal point anyway, it always has been. Um, but again, it's radi radically changed compared to what it was when I was a kid. And I mean, even further back, even before I was born, uh, my dad told me once that there used to actually be a hospital on this site uh, many, many, many years ago. Uh, and then they turned it into a garden area and it was always known as Piccadilly Gardens. And do you know, it was always a notorious area, especially at early hours of the morning. Uh, it was always considered to be a bit of a no-go area. You know, uh, you know, you know, most people, if they had any sense, didn't come round here at uh, sort of early hours of the morning or whatever. Uh, it was always considered to be a little bit on the, uh, shall we say, dodgy side. Um, now I'm not sure what it's like these days. Uh, obviously, I'm, I've never been here at uh, those times of the day. Um, so, okay, let's just have a little explore, shall we? Uh, I'm just going to head back out into the sun. Uh, the sun's definitely out, and that's a rare thing. You know what I mean? I, I think I better phone the uh, UFO office. Uh, we've got a big, big orange ball in the sky. What is it? Uh, we don't really rarely see that in Manchester. No, it's a bit of a joke. It's a bit of an in joke. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I thought I'd get back out in the sun. Uh, look, look at this. Look, there are all these pigeons here. They've always been in the pigs' gardens. Uh, you get pigeons everywhere. Anyway, so, yep, like I said, this is Piccadilly Gardens. Uh, and as I say, it's been transformed, well, it's been transformed a few times, and it looks like, again, they're, uh, from what they're doing there, it's the same that they're going to be improving the uh, fountain area. Um, so, uh, I presume this was the fountain, I presume, uh, that they're talking about. There's some uh, strange looking things over there. I think they're kiddies. Yeah, I think it's a little kiddies park thing. That's never been there before. It's interesting. Right. Okay. So, right, you see where it says over the top there, Travel Lodge? I'm, I assume you guys can see that. Again, I've got the screen the other way. Right, well, that building there, that used to be, many years ago, used to be Woolworths. Uh, and it was a big Woolworths store, it had many floors as you can see. Uh, and one time, um, and this is why it closed down, not because it, it, the Woolworths finally finished as a company, but mainly because um, the reason why this one closed down was they had a massive fire. I mean a huge fire. It was in the news and everything. It was, And my dad happened to be in there just as it broke out, I mean, I think he got out well before it, it really caught hold. Do you know what I mean? So there was, I don't think he was in any danger necessarily, but he was actually in there when, when it, it caught fire. Uh, and like I say, you know, it was a massive blaze and all. It took, them, it took them a lot of fire engines and stuff. You, you know, you can check it online. You know what I mean? You just check it online. Uh, Manchester Piccadilly, Woolworths, I don't know, 70 something, I would have thought. Uh, can't quite remember, but it's got to be, well, I'm saying 70s, I don't know. Well, late 70s, early 80s, maybe. Um, and like I say, you can check it out, you'll see it. It's, it was all in the news, there'll be loads of photographs about it. Because uh, like I say, you know, it was, it was a massive blaze. Uh, and they never reopened as a Woolworths again. Um, so, and that one there, where it says Primark, well, that used to be John Lewis. Uh, again, many, many years ago. Uh, because my dad, used to sing a song to us when we were kids uh, called Ike Moses uh, and it used to have the Lewis's uh, in, in the song um, and because we that's what we called it although some people call it John Lewis uh, we call it we just knew it as Lewis's uh, and it's a department store uh, and anyway so like I say um, you know the song he used to sing to us Sort of like, uh, my name is Ike Moses, my name is very well known. I live in the city of Manchester, a business of my own. Now if you come to Lewis's, you'll see my name on the top. From doing a rare business in the old rag shop. 
The other day a fella came in, a suit he wanted to buy. I gave him one for two and six and that was just the size. He tried the coat and waistcoat on, ready to walk away. When I tapped him on the shoulder saying, where's the money to pay? Well he looked at me and he looked at him and his nose turned blue. I doubled him up in the corner saying, that's the place for you. So anyway, that's, that's as much as I can remember of that. Um, and like I say, my dad used to sing us that when we were kids. Uh, whoever the heck Ike Mosey was, I have no idea. But uh, I'm amazed I remembered as much as I did, actually. Um, there's at least another couple of verses to that. Uh, but I can't remember it now, off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, uh, like I say, my dad used to sing us that when we were kids. Um, and like I say, Lewis is. You know, if you come to the city of Manchester, you'll see my name on the top. Where it says Primark now, he used to say John Lewis. Um, so, yeah, I, and like I say, I must admit, my dad was full of lots of different sayings uh, and stuff like that, and little rhymes and things like this. God knows where he got them all from, do you know what I mean? So, I mean, he might well just made the flipping thing up for all I know, do you know what I mean? I don't know where it came from, whether it's a real little ditty or, or whatever, but obviously it dates back years and years, do you know what I mean? So... Right, okay, so that's, that's Piccadilly Gardens for you. Uh, and I think what we'll do is we'll leave it there for now. Uh, and I'll give you something else later. Bye for now.